Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Oriel, Oriental Legend 2. And this was created by a Taiwan company called IGS in 2007. And it is the sequel to Oriental Legend. And uh, this is kind of a cool looking uh, uh, scrolling fighting uh, beat em up game with uh, anthropomorphic characters. In the first game, I think you only had one menu in which you could select an alternate weapon. In this game, you have two uh, different menus. The second uh, menu lets you uh, select a spell, and you can collect spells as you go along. And uh, before you can use a secondary item, you will use a spell first, I believe. And some of the spells are pretty darn cool. But, uh, most of the characters that you can select from are uh, anthropomorphic uh, animals. There's like a giant pig, there's a monkey, um, well maybe not most. Um, eh, pro probably less than half, but there is a... Uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, Taiwanese speaking, well, Chinese. But uh, there are uh, different modes, and there's the uh, giant pig character. <laughs> he's, he's funny. There are various special moves you can make, and there's uh, one of the spells, Holy Light. Yeah, you have a number of special moves. Uh, way too many for me to list. I don't know what stage this is. I don't remember this in the game. Uh, but this tells you uh, how to move. There are four different buttons. And then if you press player one button, then you get to view your spells. See, there's a uh, view items. And you can just pick up various item li items like knives and stuff like that. And uh, you can use them by pressing uh, the D button. And again, if you have uh, spells, and you can select from four different ones if you've collected the four different ones, uh, when you press the D button to use a secondary weapon, you'll use your spell first, I believe. I'd never heard of this game. Uh, I wasn't really going to arcades anymore in 2007. <laughs> um... I was busy trying to uh, keep a roof over my head and, and uh, go to work for a living. <laughs> but um, this has really nice graphics. It's got uh, good, good music. Um, the characters are cool. Um, yeah, there's there's just uh, Wu Kong is the monkey. Uh, Baje is a pig. Uh, Wu Jin is some uh, masked character. Er Lang is a samurai. Uh, Drakan is a Kunoichi. Uh, Iron Fan is also a Kunoichi. And there are two different uh, extra characters you can get once you beat the once you beat the game through. I like the monkey character, so I'm gonna play as him. But there are various special moves you can make by, like, uh, pressing down, down, forward, and forward, and attack. Uh, just to name one of them. There's several different moves a character can make. And uh, a lot of uh, enemies will drop uh, things like coins. Uh, they may drop spells. They may drop other things that are useful, like secondary weapons. Um... That looks like a spell. But uh, I like his uh, giant foot uh, when you when you uh, repeatedly press the attack. Makes me think of battle toads. And uh, even characters that you could have selected beforehand, you might end up fighting. Um. But uh, in between levels, you may see uh, uh, a hint 
stating uh, other moves that you can make. But uh, notice how long the uh, enemy life bar is. It's usually twice that, at least. So this guy is actually kind of weak. The game is pretty easy early on, but it certainly uh, picks up in challenge. And the game is very long. I'm trying to remember if the first uh, Oriental Legend had mul multiple uh, different paths you could take. Which might make the game last longer. And uh, that's not in this game. It's just straightforward uh, action, but the game still takes a very long time to complete. And there are different modes. You can play uh, what's called the plot, and that is just seven stages. And there I beat him. You can play uh, online ranking, which gives you an extra stage. And there's a special stage at the end and a boss you can face. Sometimes uh, when you beat an enemy, you will get a choice of actions to take. You might be able to kill him or you might be able to let him go. And we'll look at some of that later. <laughs> I like the monkey guy. I like him and I like uh, Er Lang, I think his name is. He's a samurai and he's got terrific range with his sword. And we'll look at all the characters later on. But uh, the third option to play as is Challenge Boss, and that's a boss rush. That's all the bosses through seven stages. The music is great, and yeah, the graphics are nice. I like the characters in this game. The, the ending is a little bit dull, though. And there's, there's a little bit of English in uh, some of the translation in the uh, text. Definitely uh, worth checking out if you've got an emulator and uh, want to try this game. It's definitely worthwhile. Um, you can dash forward and you might be able to do a special move with your dash by pressing uh, uh, forward twice on the joystick. <laughs> I just love the uh, exaggerated moves with your attacks with the uh, monkey guy. And uh, again, his name is uh, Wu Kong. Um, yeah, there's Wu Kong, the monkey. There's Bajie, the pig. Wu Jin is some masked character. Erlang is the samurai. Drakan is a female ninja or a kunoichi. Iron Fan is another Kunoichi. Um, and there's somebody that's purple or something that's called Chang Air. And then again, if you beat the game through all the way, then you get the opportunity to continue and play a second time with uh, the ability to choose two new extra characters. One is Shuan Zan, and he is like some... Uh, the master of the uh, samurai Er Lang. Some sort of a mystic older warrior guy. And there is also a uh, spider woman that you can choose. And we will look at those being played uh, later on. And there is my uh, uh, alternate weapon menu. And um, I chose a bolt wall as one of my magics. There is a there is a an, like I said uh, uh, alternate weapon menu and then there is a spell menu and you can have up to four spells on that. And if you press I love this special attack if you press uh, uh jump and attack together then you can do a special attack it you can only have a certain amount of special attacks 
uh, depending on how high your uh, special attack bar is. If it's full, all blue and flashing, then you can use one of your special attacks. It does not cost you any uh, life energy. And here is another boss. There are many bosses and there are regular bosses. The regular bosses will be at the very end of a stage. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. I had not seen uh, uh, either Oriel, Oriental Legend or Oriental Legend 2 in arcades. And the first game, I think, was... Uh, uh, it was like 2000 or something, maybe 2001 or something. I have a video of that one too, I believe. This uh, game was suggested by YouTube user Kuhad, and he might have suggested uh, the first Oriental Legend game. You only get uh, two lives per character. Uh, sometimes the uh, enemy will change the scenario so you're almost like in an alternate world or something and you will be uh, put like right in front of the uh, boss so you'll need to react quickly use the uh, use the full uh, the full area of the uh, stage to uh, get an advantage over your uh, enemy Yeah, see that there's uh, two rows of energy bar. And uh, sometimes one of them is blue. And that means you'll need to uh, hit the enemy enough to turn it red. And then you can uh, deplete it like normal. There we go. Yeah, he dropped uh, dropped some food items for me, so I can uh, bring my life bar back up. Uh, let's just get out of here. Yeah, you will lose a life if you run out of time, so don't let that happen. And there's uh, another uh, magic attack, Thunder Rod or whatever it said. And yeah, there are my uh, sub weapons or alternate weapons. But when you use a, a magic spell, you will use it before your uh, alternate weapons. Yeah, not all the treasure boxes will have good things. Sometimes they'll release enemies or something else that can hurt you. Yeah, I will be, uh, I will be uh, honoring some more requests now. Uh, eventually, I will get back to... Uh, uh, re-uploading my uh, 20 From series videos or the ones that weren't very good or had poor audio quality or whatever. But uh, for now, I'm going to honor more requests. You got any requests? Let me know them. Well, I hope you... Uh, well, maybe, maybe you didn't enjoy the Super Bowl, but uh, I hope you were able to at least uh, eat well. I definitely had some uh, good food for it. I was uh, not thrilled that the Patriots won yet again, but at least they won by double digits for for once. <laughs> Made it at least convincing. Well, if you if you're uh, really really cold where you're uh, living it, uh, bundle up. Uh, we're gonna get uh, snow this weekend. Yeah, if you need to uh, fight back and forth between the enemies, they'll try to get the drop on you. I love that special move. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> But yeah, 
Each character has a special move they can make, but uh, they need the uh, they need their uh, special move meter to be blue and flashing, like right now. And when it is, you can uh, do your special attack. But yeah, of all the characters, I think that uh, Er Lang, the samurai, is the best. He has a great reach. But I like this guy a lot too. And uh, we will look at the other uh, play modes a little bit later on. The uh, online ranking, again, which is one more stage than the uh, regular uh, playthrough, which is called Plot, which is seven stages. And then Challenge Boss is just a boss rush. You will face uh, the bosses in... Uh, from uh, step seven stages and you can try to uh, beat the top uh, time and here's another boss character yeah there's a lot of anthropomorphic uh, uh, animals in this game Most of the bosses, I think, are uh, anthropomorphic animals. Oop, I died. I think I neglected to continue here. Yeah, I chose not to continue. I think you have to play through in order to get your uh, name on the... in order to be able to put your name on the high score list, which is lame. Now we'll play as the giant pig, uh, Baje. He has got a very funny uh, uh, special attack. He's fat and he's really s pretty slow. <laughs> he's funny. But yeah, that is his special attack. Yeah, there's various uh, special moves that you can do, and uh, the game will tell you about some of them in between levels. You can maybe, like, charge down and press up and attack, or, or uh, down, down, forward, forward, and attack, or something. And now we go back to... Uh, the normal uh, dimension or whatever. Yeah, we'll just scoot forward to to me beating this guy. <laughs> yeah, the game is pretty easy early on, but it definitely increases in challenge over time. And there we beat him. Yeah, there's just there's just a little too much to this game for for my liking. I mean, uh, I almost I almost uh, uh, spent a whole hour on uh, on this video for this game, and I don't normally like to spend that much time. <laughs> guy cracks me up. This game is, is, is really pretty cool. But there's just there's just too much to it. Yeah, there's lions, there's tigers, there's I think rhinos, elephants, all sorts of uh, anthropomorphic uh, animal enemies. And uh, cutscenes. A tiger Man. And now we go we take this uh, fight to the clouds. <laughs> Kinda weird. Watch out for uh, those lightning things. They can uh, they can hurt you if you're too close. This part makes me think of uh, a stage on the Simpsons uh, arcade game. 
where you uh, fight in the clouds. There will be these uh, bird creatures you have to fight too. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna play as a different character this time. We'll play as uh, Wu Jin, some uh, masked character with a long staff or a long spear. But yeah, we'll look at some of his, some of each character's move, moves. And there's a lot that I didn't show. You just have to experiment with each character or uh, pay attention to what it says the moves are in between levels. And now we go back and face uh, Tiger Man. And again, sometimes there will be uh, options that you can choose after you beat an enemy. You can choose to let him live or uh, choose to kill him or whatever. It doesn't really have much bearing at all on the rest of the game as far as I can tell. I, I don't like this guy. He he can disappear into the ground and then and then have something hit you if you're standing too close. <laughs> That's a cool <laughs> special move. <laughs> All the special moves are are pretty cool. And we go to another uh, alternate dimension or whatever for a little while. This guy has, like, water-based attacks, I guess. And now we're going to play as, uh... I think this is my favorite character, uh... Uh, yeah, Air Lang, the samurai. There are some, uh, items that can, uh, cause poison. Uh, some of the enemies have that. I like his special move, too. <laughs> That's so cool. But yeah, if you get poisoned, you move a lot slower. Uh, you can only hurt one enemy when you're doing your special attack. It can't, like, cut through to another enemy. Yeah. Just do whatever you want. And you can choose to defeat him or spare him. And we'll look at both real quick. And there I I beat him. And you can also choose to let him get away. I think uh, you have to face him later on in the game. If Maybe you don't have to face him later on if you, uh, if you kill him. Yeah, spare him. And he leaves. I still follow him to the same uh, destination. And now here, uh, there will be, uh, there will be little flaming guys running around a little bit later uh, this is a weird battle I'm not sure what you do here do you try to like splash to put out these fires maybe that's what you have to do but you have to wail on the A button and like maybe wiggle the joystick and I guess I lost yeah I have to face a, a deer guy But yeah, I like this guy best. He has the he has the uh, longest longest weapon range, I think, of any character. We'll scoot forward to me beating him. Let me 
fly back up here. That <laughs> goat man. Yeah, this has a uh, nice graphics, uh, cool moves to remember for each character. Um, and th these are, we just saw the flaming guys. You can uh, you can kill them while they're running before they can reach you, but they will burn you if they touch you. A little bit later, we'll face Goatman here. Uh, I think it's like just tap forward and attack and you'll, like, attack them with a Chinese character. Ah. We'll, uh, choose a different character this time. And this is the, uh, diminutive Drakan, uh, Kunoichi with, uh, little sickle-type blades. She's really weak. I don't like using her. Ouch. Jeez, she's weak. And here's her special attack. Special move. <laughs> it's kind of cool, too. Well, they're all cool. But you have to beat both these guys. <laughs> And then we go to the uh, other dimension. Yeah, the Oriental Legend games might be the uh, most famous ones of uh, IGS. Yeah, this time we'll play as, uh, uh, what is it called, Iron Fan, another Kunoichi. Yeah, there's a lot to like about this game. It just it just takes way too long to uh, complete. But if you're if you're looking for a good character to use, I would recommend uh, Air Lang, the uh, samurai. He's got such terrific range with his swords. And he's got some nice uh, special attacks. You can uh, you can juggle the enemies for a little while. Notice. You can, uh, oops. You can, uh, uh, string together multiple attacks and, uh, continue to hurt them. And there is her, uh, special attack, and there I beat one of the, uh, bosses. And we'll scoot forward to me beating the boss with, uh, this other character, which is, uh, uh, Chang Er. Some uh, purple gal with a uh, staff. Yeah, I hate those enemies that can hurt you if you get close to them with uh, some sort of spell that makes them disappear. And that, now this guy wants to disappear whenever I try to attack him. Sucks. Come on, damn it. Just let me kill you. You're almost dead. There we go. <laughs> and we've beaten that level. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, lot of points to be gotten in this game. Um... But uh, I think you have to beat the game through in order to be able to put your initials in. Which is lame. We will just, yeah, we will just look at samples at least of each remaining level. And again, this is, this is the uh, uh, plot mode, which just takes you through seven stages 
uh, the online ranking mode takes you through eight stages, and we will look at just a little bit of the final stage, or at least the final boss. The uh, challenge boss mode is bosses from seven stages, and it's just a boss rush. You just play through them, through as many as you can survive through, and just keep going. Um, I think the only, uh, I think the plot and challenge boss uh, endings might be the same. The online ranking ending is a little bit different. Nothing that special. This this boss makes me laugh. It's like a little demon kid. He sticks out his tongue at you and cries when you beat him up. It's funny. But he is a pain in the ass. And then that's her special move. And now we'll, uh... Excuse me, we'll go with, uh... Not sure who this is. No, this is this is Chang Hair, I think. The other the other character was just known as Purple. Yeah, sh this gal has a cool <laughs> she has a cool uh, special attack. And yeah, that will uh, scoop forward a little bit to a little later in the fight. <laughs> but that kid cracks me up. There, I threw a, a dagger. One of my uh, Sub weapons at him, or alternate weapons at him. There's uh, like a bomb I threw at him. And there I, uh, I think I poisoned him a little bit. And uh, part way through the fight, he makes this uh, giant vehicle come and attack you. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Damn it! <laughs> I set the stage on fire, quite literally. Yeah, a little bit, little bit forward, uh, I changed back to uh, um, the monkey. <laughs> Wu Kong. <laughs> what a crap! Shut up now. <laughs> yeah, the English is uh, pretty obvious here. Damn it, little shit. Uh. <laughs> there, I'll beat him with uh, uh, Erlang. And again, this is the best character to use. There was no uh, cheat, at least uh, yet, for this game. So I just had to keep uh, switching characters and continuing to play. Didn't have any uh, infinite energy or invincibility cheats. And there it says a new move. Up, down, and A. So we'll uh, have to give that a shot. But I like that uh, the game tells you uh, a new special attack every once in a while. We will uh, face a number of spider enemies on this stage. And at the end of the stage, we'll be... Uh, a uh, female spider and uh, if you beat the game through once then you will be able to choose uh, the spider woman as a new character and that is the other new character I can play as and that's my master and he gets uh, cocooned you know, after you beat the game through once then uh, 
you can play as both him or uh, uh, the Spider Woman. There is a uh, scorpion special magic I can use. And we might look at that in just a moment. There's my uh, special attack again. All the special attacks are cool in this game. Uh, maybe we'll look at the scorpion uh, spell later on. And there, I beat her. Even if after you beat the boss, if you're prompted to hurry up and move somewhere, do it. Don't run out of time and lose a life. Shoot, just got out of time. Just got out in time. Yeah, we'll scoot forward. And fall through here. Oh, there is the uh, spider woman. Release my master. I guess she's in love with his master. <laughs> and again, don't forget that you can only attack one character, one enemy at a time with your uh, uh, special attack. It can't hit two enemies at once. I'll scoot forward to me beating her. Help, I'm over here. So you release your uh, master. The sound effect of you picking up items sounds like uh, it was borrowed from the Neo Geo. If uh, the game will tell us another trick. Yep, down, up, and B. And uh, that will uh, give you like a little familiar, a little wolf familiar that might help you as you attack your enemies. There's so many different moves, uh, many of which I haven't uh, told you about or shown you. You just gotta kind of learn them on your own. Oops, I died. And there I uh, made the wolf familiar appear. I'm not sure how it helps you, but uh, those are some uh, creepy Pinocchio heads or whatever the hell they are. They can't hurt you as far as I know. The eyes just kind of follow you. Yeah, it's uh, set to snow this weekend. It already snowed a little bit, but the temperatures are really dropping around in my neighborhood. It gets down to like the 20s in the mornings and at night. I know it's colder elsewhere in the, the U.S. and other parts of the world, too. But uh, I'm not used to such cold temperatures. <laughs> Here's a uh, blue lion. Hey, what do you want? Allowed to pass only if your master stays. And here's uh, another uh, magic spell. Yeah, if you get too close, he'll roar, and that roar will hurt you. Oh man, he's got long range with his sword. And again, if there's a uh, blue on the uh, life bar, you have to knock the life bar down enough, and then 
once the blue is all gone, then it's all red, and then that can uh, dissipate. There's the scorpion spell. You send some scorpions after the enemy. I am defeated. Please spare my life. And you can choose to spare him or kill him. We'll start with spare him. Sue yourself if you feel like visiting my cave. Huh? And now we'll choose to uh, kill him. You don't deserve to be a god. <laughs> okay. But at any rate, you still go the same, same path. Huh? He got back up. I guess I didn't kill him. <laughs> okay then. A scorpion spell again. It's a very cool game, but just... There's just too much uh, involved for me. And the game is just too long in general. Now we got uh, bird enemies. Uh, falcon. It really is cool. You gotta float in the air and you like fire a machine gun type uh, blast at your enemy. And then you slam through them once. And again, those treasures, ouch, those treasure uh, chests might not always have items or weapons that can help you. Might be an enemy coming out of them or something. There's a bolt spill. Continue with Erlang. There, I'll kill the uh, Falcon. But yeah, check this out if you've never uh, never heard of it. Definitely worth trying. I like the. Uh, anthropomorphic animal uh, theme and this time we face an elephant and the blue lion with an incredibly long sword Spell. Yeah, don't get too close to that lion. He will roar and knock you over. There, I killed the elephant. Yeah, bundle up, folks. It's it's gonna be it's gonna continue to be a cold winter. We'll get snow. Uh, Snow this weekend in my area. Right at about the time where I'm getting a new, new windows uh, installed in my house. <laughs> Not the best of timing. There we beat another uh, stage. Will we get another uh, special move added? You can't do the special move before uh, it's shown how to do, you know, between levels. Hey, there is. Jump and then press down an A for Meteor Spear, I think it said. Uh, I think this is a move I really like. And I'll uh, try using it now, I believe. Yep. Yeah, that's a good move. Yeah, you can't use it like at the beginning of the game before it, it tells you how to use it uh, in between uh, stages. 
And this is the the fan gal that you could choose at the beginning of the game. Yeah, all the all the special moves are cool in this game. Ah, crap, you need to get out of the way when she does that. You are not as good as I thought. And she knocks you backwards, I guess, if you don't beat her enough. There's a lot of things about this game that I kind of left out, sorry, but the game is just too long to begin with. I didn't feel like spending a couple hours on a video. And this guy's a pain in the butt, too. He's got a lot of elemental spells. And this is one of mine. Fire fan. Let's sit forward to me beating him here. Ugh. Guy is such a bastard. <laughs> He's got this foot that squishes you. There we go. Will I learn another uh, special move? That's the end of uh, that uh, mode. Now if I put in another credit and uh, play again, I will be able to choose from those two extra characters, which is Shuan Zen, which is uh, your uh, Air Lang's master, and then the Spider Woman. There they are. I chose not to continue but we will see this little scenario here anyway. But we will look at me playing as both those characters. Yeah, I can't really tell you much about this uh, uh, storyline, I'm afraid. That is uh, Oriental Legend 2. And uh, right off the top of my head, I can't remember a whole lot about Oriental Legend 1. But uh, this is definitely worth checking out sometime. So if you can get a uh, arcade emulator and this ROM, then uh, give it a try. See what you think. Now I get a... Uh, Put in my initials and you get to put in like up to four I think it was as long as you beat the game played all the way through yep there we go and there I am first place with uh, over eight million <laughs> and you can get it uh, the into the top 20 I guess there's both a, uh, or or maybe there's just one uh, ROM of this, but there is a, a way to change the settings and uh, make it all be uh, Chinese characters, no uh, English involved, I believe. 
but this was uh, Oriental Legend 2, created by uh, IGS, a Taiwanese company, in 2007. This uh, ties for my uh, newest game review. Um, I also did one called, uh, I think it was Moochie Moochie Pork, which was a goofy little shooter involving pigs in uh, 2007 as well. And uh, we will have a look at uh, a little bit of the online ranking and uh, the challenge boss. Now, if you uh, if you do continue uh, from uh, beating it once, then again you get to choose from the uh, the uh, other two uh, characters, and we'll have a look at them. And again, they are uh, Xuan Zan, the mystic uh, master of Erlang and the Spider Woman. And we'll start with uh, Xuan Zen. And we'll look at some of his uh, special moves. Yeah, it's still the best character in my opinion is Erlang the uh, Samurai. One of these days, I'll have to find a uh, a game from uh, like 2003, 2004, 2005, and 2006 uh, to do a, a flashback episode of. So I have not done done those years yet. I like doing flashback episodes. Kind of kind of cool. And there, he's got a uh, is that a wolf familiar? And here is uh, the first boss. Yeah, again, you get to uh, face uh, sometimes uh, other uh, other characters that you could have chosen to begin the game with. Now we're gonna play as the Spider Woman. She's got nice long range with uh, claws or whatever she's using. And here's her uh, special attack. <laughs> she, she kisses the enemy. <laughs> I just wanted you to look at the uh, two new characters you can choose once you beat the game all the way through. And then uh, we will have a look at the uh, eighth stage, the extra stage on the uh, online ranking. Yeah, there's online ranking, and that has eight stages. And uh, we will look at that eighth stage, or at least the boss of the eighth stage, for just a moment. You have uh, chess pieces that stick up from the ground and attack. <laughs> And uh, after this, then uh, we will look at a quick look at the uh, challenge boss. It's it's just a boss rush, and you can choose whatever character. You can keep continuing uh, and play all your play your way all through the uh, boss rush, and you try to see if you can beat him within 30 seconds. You don't have to, but you just keep a. Uh, Keep trying to beat as many bosses in a row as you can. But uh, that was Oriental Legend 2 by IGS in 2007, the sequel to Oriental Legend.
This was suggested by Kuhad. This is Crazy Clown Ready saying thanks for watching Oriental Legend 2 by IGS in 2007. Hope you have a great day and a good weekend. I'll see you later. Bye, folks.